All right, welcome to another episode of Talk and Shop. I've got my buddy Billy Cardwell from up in Kokomo. Um, Billy's a CFP at Aurora Financial, right? Yep. Yep. So um, he came in today to talk some shop and then also talk some shop on this video. So I put it out on Twitter, got a few suggestions, and in the course of our conversation, I came up with what I thought was the perfect topic for us to discuss. So what I want to um, have Billy talk about, and I'm going to chime in as well, sure. is we both do not have asset minimums for clients that we bring on. And if you're not in the industry, that is, I won't say unheard of, but it's not very common. Um, so Billy, why don't you share with why you, as you've started your own firm, why you've uh, decided to not have a minimum for clients to work with you? Sure. Yeah. So my whole reason why I'm in this business, um, I like to help people. And I think that having a minimum for somebody to come into your office doesn't really uh, open the door for the, some of the people that you really need to help. Um, and so what we do for a living, we, we, we have a, a good amount of income that comes in, right? And if you do it right, you do it the right way, more people come in and you help them out. And so, you know, the money is, is nice and it's fun, but helping people, having those conversations, helping people do the things they want to do is really what's important, right? And so if I can help more people do the things they want to do, I'm having more fun. I am more invested in how they perform and, and what goes on in, in their lives. So my biggest thing is helping people do the things they want to do, right? So I, and I know you're, you're similar in that and that um, it's fun, right? And, and we want to do this and we want to help people do the right thing. Yep. And I think that, um, I, so I operate in this utopian, utopian mindset. I always tell people that, not that advisors who have minimums don't do the right things for their clients, but I've always operated under, I'm going to do what's right for my clients. I'm not going to worry about compensation or anything numbers wise when I work for companies that had goals. I'm just going to do what's right and everything will work itself out. And it has always worked for me in my career. And you cannot convince me to change and start tracking a bunch of stuff because that goes against my ethos. Like That's just not yeah. going to work for me. Um, I don't have a minimum, same reasons. I want to be able to help people. And yes, there is a business to be run and there are revenue that is needed to pay for expenses. But I also think that when you do things and you take on that client who really needs help, I think you have a great example I want you to share yeah. that call it the universe, call it karma, whatever you want to call it, comes back around and you get that client that just picks up the phone and calls you or it's just something that you weren't expecting falls into your lap. Sure. And I think that that's because you help that. For me, it's been helping bus drivers or um, you know, maintenance people when I was working in the school corporations, I think helping them led me to get the opportunities I had down the road because I took the time for somebody who, who didn't have it. And you also never know who knows who. Right. Uh, so that kind of leads into your story. So share your example of how not charging a fee or not even having a minimum kind of helped out in a situation. Sure. So I'm in, I'm in Kokomo, Indiana, and there's a lot of auto workers. Um, a lot of guys that are doing the daily grind where it's go in for 12 hours, go home, take a quick nap, get ready to go back into work again. Um, and so in doing that, I met with a guy that he had a lot of credit card debt. Um, he's one of my favorite clients to meet with. I met with him once a month for almost three years. Uh, my whole goal was help him get out of debt. Um, I call him a client. He's not really a client. He's never paid me anything yet. Um, but one of the things that he did is, you know, after we got him through, paying off the bills, getting on to a more of a stable lifestyle. Um, he talked to his brother about me and his brother's up in Michigan. I'm, I'm also licensed up there and he, uh, he referred him to me and I thought, you know, this will be great. This is uh, more family that I can help out and do some things with. And so the brother, he called and said, Hey, my advisor's retiring. Why don't you come up here and, and we can have a quick conversation. I thought, great. I'm going to come up and have a conversation, love to help somebody out. Maybe have a little bit of income along the way. And, and he's actually my second biggest client now. Um, and I, I have no business meeting him other than I helped his brother out. And so, you know, ha to have a guy that, that I now have helped a guy do what he wants to do and get out of debt, help his family. But then he also liked me enough that he sent me his own brother. Um, that, that is my second largest account. It was, it was really cool. And it, it reinforces why we do what we do. Right. Um, at the end of the day, if you help people do the things they want to do, they're going to say something nice about you. And it's going to lead to referrals that you couldn't even imagine. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, the, one of the other ba big reasons I have for no minimums is I like helping work my friends. I like working with my friends. I'm um, 32 uh, years old. There's not a lot of 32-year-olds, if I had a million-dollar minimum, that could come in and see me. Um, and so I like talking to clients about similar life situations. I like talking to clients about what we're going through so that I can help them decide you know, here's what's best for you or here are the different options you have. And so working with friends, working with people I like is important. And I know that that's a big thing for you too is, uh, you know, as you continue to grow and build, 
making sure you're, you're having fun along the way, doing it with people you like. Right, and I think of the luxury that we have as, we're small business owners, yeah. and being smaller in the grand scheme of planning firms out there, is technology has allowed us to streamline our businesses and kind of run a lean business if we want to, yeah. and that allows us to be able to have lower fee options for clients. So for instance, I do hourly planning, which to be honest with you is not my favorite way to work with a client. I don't think hourly sets the right tone for a long-term relationship, which I think to have a successful plan, it needs to be a long-term relationship because it evolves. You need to make yeah. changes to it. But in some circumstances, it makes sense. So if somebody comes in, I like them, I think I can help them, and at the time, the hourly plan is best, I want to do that. Well, I can be compensated for my time under that model and be okay because I have my business running very lean. Sure. And the next step up is the subscription model. People have heard me talk about this before, but it's a scaled down version of my wealth management program that allows me to, because of technology, offer it at a lower cost to young professionals to give them that advice and planning that they need today so that one day they'll graduate and start paying me more. And this is a conversation I have with them because we transition to the wealth management, which is more touches, different portfolio management. But technology gives us smaller guys the ability to offer these models to work around having minimums and still be compensated for the time that we need to be. Um, we do pro bono work from time to time, sure. but we're all in this. I mean, we're business owners. Our clients need us to succeed and have an income to be able to be there and help them. So we're not out here saying no minimums mean do everything for free, but no minimums mean that if the right client comes in, we have ways to work with them and be fairly compensated for our time and give them a level of service that they need that's tied to that compensation. So sure. um, that was one of the main reasons I wanted to have my own firm was to make my qualifying factor do I like this person? Um, I don't want to have anybody, and I can honestly say there's not one that I work with, that when the phone rings and their caller ID shows that's them because everybody's programmed into my phone, that I cringe. Right. Um, I know that even if the market's down a thousand points and clients are calling me because they're scared and maybe they're momentarily mad, I'm happy to pick that phone call up because I genuinely like that person and they become a friend. Um, I don't want to have somebody who calls me when the market's up a thousand points and I cringe because I know they're going to bitch about something that I don't have any control of. I, I, I just want to work with people that I like and I like having different ways to be able to make that happen, um, which I think is you know something that's similar with you. Oh, it's huge. And, and you know another thing that we have done is, again, I like working with people our age. There are other avenues that you can go. We, we specialize in 401ks and other qualified plans that allow you to supplement some of that income so that as you're growing your practice and you can grow it the right way to help people do the things they want to do more efficiently, mm -hmm. not have to charge them an arm and a leg to do so. Right. And so, you know, there are, there are other things that you can do to help supplement some things along the way, but at the same time, you can spend most of your time doing what you want to do, meeting with the people you want to meet with. Mm -hmm. So um, in closing, this video is for, for everybody. So for financial advisors out there, sure. uh, if you have minimums and you're thinking, how am I gonna scale my business and grow? Maybe consider looking at different ways to work with clients and compensation structures. And for clients or customers or consumers, whatever you wanna classify yourself as, if you don't have a financial advisor because you don't have a million dollars, there are plenty of advisors out there like Billy and I and the XY Planning Network and other places out there that have advisors who have business models to be able to help you that not having enough money is no longer an excuse because there are those of us out there who have business models to help you. So just know that we're there. Um, Billy, if anybody likes your beard and wants to talk to you, <laughs> let them know where they can they can find you. Drop your firm name, Twitter handle. I'll put all that in the show notes on allaboutyourbedrooms.com, but Fair plug enough. your stuff. Yeah, Billy Cardwell up in Kokomo, Indiana. Um, Twitter handle is BillyCFP, and then AuroraFinancialStrategies.com is our website. All right, I will have show notes to all those. I'm sorry I said Aurora Financial earlier. It's good. It's all um, good. So I know Billy. I know I know him. I just blanked on the name. The, the camera good. was on. All I good. We got it covered. All right, so thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned. More Talking Shops coming, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.